In 2 Corinthians 3, verse 17, it says, Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Freedom from what? Well, freedom from worry. Freedom from anxiety. Freedom from being overstressed. A freedom that is truly beyond definition. Uh, where you just feel a sense of lightness in you. A sense of hope. A sense of knowing. You exercise your true freedom when you bring forth your spiritual identity into, into what? Into your daily living. Into every single day. Not just on Sunday morning when you're praying, but every day. And you discover your freedom is something that you can claim. It becomes your own when you make use of this power and the wisdom and the order and the life of God that is within you. You naturally bless others on their way to fulfill their potential as an individual expression of God. You don't try to take ownership. You don't try to control. You share with others and with your world the best that is within you. That's what you're to do. And what is that? The best that is within you is God's Spirit coming through you as you. You live fully and you live wholly as you remove thoughts of fear from you. Wow, what a freedom that is to even have a few hours at first without fear of any kind. Or bondage. A bondage from your own consciousness. You know, we live in our own jails and it is one of the great spiritual ahas when we realize the prison door opens from within and we can unlock it ourselves. When we know that God really cares and loves us, that is a tremendous sense of freedom. By recognizing that those around us are also free to allow their own inner guidance to work through them, and even though they're doing something that we might not like at all, we realize that everybody is on a path. It's not necessarily our path, but everyone eventually will get to the place of God and of realization and of freedom. We, by our sense of who we are and what we're connected to, by the way we live our life, we encourage them to do so too. People are watching, even when you don't think they're watching. Just as we confirm our right to be whole and free, we pray for the realization of freedom by all people. We're confident in the Spirit of God within us and within all others. I pray that the Spirit of God frees you. Whatever is holding you in bondage, I pray that right now you can experience a spiritual uplifting where you know something is happening beyond you, above you, around you, in back of you, that is lifting you out of your despair. And you feel that lightness and that sense of calm. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray that you're given that gift. Amen.